1,500 metres. Handler jumps aboard. Jumps up between them. They're all set and they're racing. King Alfred Harrison Sloan to stride when the start is set go. And Furat Quality is also tucking in off the speed. Panama Man's in the yellow silks. He's a sprinter, so he wants to get on with the business. Dancing with Jackson's right there. Rebels Ransom and Gulliver's Travel holds position towards the inside, racing about three lengths off the tempo. Nottingham Forest further back. Try your luck deeper out on the turf. Harrison's about five off them. The white blinkers just head up in the air for a stride or two. King Alfred, Dirty Deal and Mama, Yeast and Star, the trailer. As expected, Panama Man, the sprinting individual in front by a length and a tail. He's not over racing though. He's managed to settle into his stride after being a little bit keen early on. Dancing with Jackson, Try Your Luck. Rebels Ransom just urged out to keep in touch to the inside. Nottingham Forest red sleeves towards the outside. Gulliver's Travel's got four lengths to trace down. Harrison's still head up in the air looking to come towards the centre. Furat quality. Homeward bound Panama Man. He's a sprinter. Let's see what he's all about being sat on as they come to the 300. Gulliver's Travel tries to come forward. Harrison's on the outside. Panama Man now at the 200. Asked to go and win this race. Harrison's running on. Rebels Ransom between them. Panama Man's flat to the board. Yuck comes Harrison, Rebels Ransom the last bit, Rebels Ransom comes at Panama Man the last 50 and Rebels Ransom, Panama Man rallies right back, here comes the line, Rebels Ransom just held out Panama Man, Harrison and Furat quality. Just where number 10, Rebels Ransom, looks to go on and win by a head or so. You'll see coming back down the inside is the sprinter, Panama Man. But Rebels Ransom just keeps sticking his nose down. And here comes Panama Man trying to re-rally the last 50 metres. Rebels Ransom just with his head in front. Panama Man tries to lunge back, but it goes to Rebels Ransom by a head. Panama Man did not throw in the towel. He's the sprinter. And things almost panned out for him. Panama Man second. Harrison stayed on 30, is racing awkwardly between runners. Their head was up in the air looking for gaps to open. Furat quality and Yeeson star. Gulliver's travel, dirty deal and mama. King Alfred, try your luck. Dancing with Jackson, they finish downfield. Rebels Ransom making the debut for the wire mooring stable year from Cape Town. Used to run at Kenilworth and just puts in a spirited run coming to the 250 metre marker. The yellow silks of Panama Man tries to rally back. Panama Man in front. Rebels Ransom gets right up alongside. Looks like he's going to run away for a neck to a half a length victory. And the last three strides, Panama Man, you can see trying to come back for one last bite as they go to the post. Rebels Ransom all out though. And he'll hold on by a head from Panama Man sick. And Harrison if you're right quality back to the studio The running of race number five, over 1,400 metres, has gone the way of number 10, Rebels Ransom. It's a four-year-old son of Rebel King, trained by way of Mowing and ridden to victory by Marco van Rensburg. First run in the province, uh, obviously had two in the race. The other one, Gulliver's Travels, was probably the more fancied uh, of the stable, but it's, uh, I'm sure it's hard to expect uh, first run in the province and on the poly track. Yeah, you know, his uh, Daryl sent him up about three weeks ago, so... Obviously, it's a learning curve for me also. I don't really know much about him. doesn't show too much at home. And obviously, we've stepped him up in distance also. Um, you know, I think, you know, hats off to, to Mr. Adams. You know, he said to me, he says, well, yeah, I believe this horse will actually be suited to the poly. So, you know, I think he's a man that, that, that knows his horses and very passionate about the game. And, you know, me, I, at the end of the day, I'm just happy to, to have winners for, for my owners. And well done to Marco, you know, obviously we've started something, he's building up confidence and uh, yeah, you know, everyone's doing their work at home. Great stuff, eh? you're really turning out uh, the winners and you've got one more in the eighth race. Yeah, you know, she ran a good race last time, uh, she ran second, so, you know, she's honest, so we're hoping for a double. Thanks so much. Thanks. Let's get Marco Frenensberg in. Marco, good to have you uh, in KZN. Uh, take us through the race, obviously it's the first run uh, in Durban and on the poly, so hard to assess. 
Yeah, look, Mr. Moyne said, listen, let's bounce him out, let's learn about it. Um, we want to give him every chance to win the race, so I suggest we jump him out, we have him pretty handy, and we'll take it from there. And you know what? Well done to him, it worked into our favour. I got him out the race and I got him into the race. Um, and, and once I got there and he settled, you know, it was basically race over from then. He still raced very dumb. I went past Sean and once I got past him, he sort of gave up, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, he won the race, so well done to Mr. Adam, well done to Mr. Moy, and thanks for all the support. And is the plan to come down to uh, Durban regularly to, to, to help her out? You know, when I started riding for him, he said to me, listen, I'm, I've got a stable, I'm opening, opening up a stable in Durban, and eventually I'm going to need you to come up for me on a regular basis. So, you know, it's all up to him and to his owners. If, it was, if I had it my way, I would come up every meeting for sure. Well, it's uh, definitely the, the right place to be because the stable really is uh, taking, turning out the winners. Yeah, you know, they do well. Him and Amy, they, they get the horses pretty fit. They get them right. So, you know what, you've got you to give them the credit. I'm just here to point them and they're winning. So, well done to them. 100%. Keep it up. Thank you. There we've heard it from all concerned here in the fifth race at Gravel. Went number the, the way of number 10, Rebels Ransom. Congrats uh, to Ao Mowing, to Marco van Rensburg, uh, who uh, got that one home. As well to the breeders, uh, Miss Funda Merva. And to Hassan Adams, who I see is bringing a couple of horses uh, to Wayo here in KZN. That was the running of race five. We'll see you back for race six.